Good morning, Cocker Spaniel. Hello, German Shepherd. This is my bird dog. My bird dog, German Shepherd. <clears throat> okay, okay, settle down. Oh, the weather outside was frightful, but the fire was so delightful. And since we got a side by side, and it's super muddy out, let's go hunt, let's go hunt, let's go hunt. Yo, I chill, I didn't say I was like a good singer or anything. But welcome back to another video, y'all. So you can see I got this stupid white hat, and it doesn't even fit close to right, but this is the only white hat I have, so I'm gonna wear it today because I'm rocking a snow cover on my layout blind, and we're gonna try to hunt in a field that had some snow in it, and then it rained all night last night when it was already tremendously wet outside. And this field is going to be straight slop. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I really wanted to shoot some geese. There is a lot of geese around. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna try to put the hurting on them on a little BW greasy one-man goose hunt. So I loaded up the old side-by-side -side here because there is no chance at all that you are making it out in a field right now with a truck around here. I'm gonna start this thing up, warm it up, and let's go see if we can't get some geese. Also, you guys have been asking about the chain, and it's just, it's kinda cold, it's hard to see the chain with this many layers on. It's kind of an earlier in the season thing when you can actually see the chain. But I put it in there, and I tucked it for y'all, cause uh, you know what I say. Tuck your chain, here come Debo. Tuck mine in. Straight bundled up, fellas. I'm straight bundled up right now. Gotta fasten our load. <sighs> that ain't going nowhere. All right, what we bumping this morning? It's a little big X this morning. It's a little big X to plug. Hey! I just went by to watch with a whole lot of diamonds. Oh! These niggas is my time. Oh god. There's literally like no snow left in the field because of the rain. That's good. It's straight mud. Yo! Yo! There's there's literally like no snow left in here. And it's straight mud. Look at, oh, oh my gosh. I had a funny feeling this had happened. We're too far into this now, so. The ground is honestly a little bit solid because it was so cold, so there's still some frost underneath. So I think just the top a little bit sloppy. I have a snow cover. No other hide would really work unless maybe we had an A-frame, but I don't think they'd like that. This field is straight black dirt. Uh, so hopefully we can get lucky enough to find a little patch of snow and try this, but. Oh, we'll see what happens. Yesterday, this was completely covered in snow. There was just a little bit of black. And uh, after this rain and these warm temps, no bueno, really. No bueno. You could see in here, there's been geese. A lot of the tracks are kind of uh, washed out because of the rain, but there's little splotches of poop and good looking sign all over in here. So I think we're set up in the right spot today. So today we are going to be running the Dive Bomb Industries V2FF fully flocked Canada Goose Silhouettes. I've been running these silhouettes all season and these things are absolutely awesome. If you guys would like to check out the Dive Bomb Industries V2FF Canada Goose Silhouettes that we are using in today's video, make sure you head down to the description of this video and click on that Dive Bomb Industries link. All right, fellas, spread is set. It's a little bit hard to see in this muddy, muddy field that we're in, but I got them scattered loose on this end, kind of going into a J hook pattern. I wanted this line to be a little more tight and I was gonna sit on the edge of the spread, but then I decided to put some decoys around my blind and now we're sitting in the spread, as you can see. Then the decoys come up here a little bit loose and up towards the top, you guys could probably barely see, 
I packed the rest of the decoys in pretty tight and then just came out with a little J hook. And the thought behind this is these geese are going to ride this wind up the side of this line and we are gonna hit them with a little bit of a cross shoot is the plan. But as you guys know, sometimes plans don't work. BW style. Talking about bow. I should probably take more shells out too so I'm not caught with my pants down when the geese come in mid flock. Are you serious? So for those of you that don't know, I've been working on my own goose call and we finally just got this thing perfected. This masterpiece right here is the BW Cannon. This is still somewhat of a prototype. We're gonna have my logo on here like this. It might be colored in. And then on the other side, we got some awesome artwork of a cannon shooting at some geese on that sucker. This has been taking a lot longer than I thought. This was the first call that I have designed with someone and I wanted to get it exactly how I wanted it. So for the first drop, we are doing 50 calls. A lot of you guys DM'd me already. There's probably 35 or 40 of you guys that already DM'd me. Make sure you are checking up on my Instagram and keeping up to date for when I launch this thing. But you guys are gonna get to hear it today, what the finished product sounds like. We're gonna put this sucker to work. This is the, this is the first hunt with the real finished deal. I just heard some geese while I was trying to take a little cat nap. Also, I couldn't find my flag today and in this dark field, my decoys aren't super visible. I tried to place them in the snow as best as I could. We'll see if they see us. I wish I had a flag though. Oh gosh, why are they doing it? You're not serious, right? That thing landed kind of close. We have more geese coming now. I was trying to wait for a bigger group. The one landed behind me, but we'll just uh, we'll just wait here and see if a bigger group comes in. There's a lot of birds coming. <laughs> Ooh, we got a sailor, but I'll take a little triple action. We need to go get that sailor right away. That's a triple though. That is a triple though. After that first one, I realized that I was leading it and that thing was like four feet away. So I'm just putting it right on their face now. That was a little better. Major flares off the blind, what the heck? That is two more geese. Those ones did it. 
absolutely perfect. I ended up pulling some of the decoys on the right side. And uh, those came on a perfect line though. Very perfect line. Are you curious? My gun got snagged on my blind. What the heck, dude? And I wasn't trying to shoot at more of those in Salem because I already had to walk 18 miles. That front group worked a little bit better with the spread change, but. I'm really close to my limit and I was going to try to let some land and maybe band check them and then that first group flared up, I looked to the right and had those right above my face. Pulled up, I should have had my two geese out of that, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. But we have more geese coming straight at us, so I'm going to shoot my limit and get on out of here. <coughs> This, this blind and dirty, dirty snow cover sticks out so bad. Pretty much when they get, when they get above us, we're kind of screwed. But that's all part of it. Try to get them in before they fly over us. That is my limit, fellas. Okay, well, that is my limit. We had one sailor go down that I need to go pick up over there, and we have seven geese in our spread, so that was a that was a pretty fast limit. That worked pretty good. We have more birds coming in, too. It's kind of crazy, honestly. 850, and we have our limit. That was, uh, that was not too bad for a one-man little muddy shoot here. I didn't know how this was gonna go with these birds. A lot of people have been hunting around here this year, and uh, not sure how it was gonna go, especially with this mud and snow and how bad I tracked it up around my blind. You just never know. The hide was not crazy ideal, and uh, didn't know how that was gonna work, but here we are with our limit before nine o'clock, so not too bad. All right, brothers, I didn't mean to get all professional with you and set a big camera up on a tripod, but I had to flex on you for this one instead of using the GoPro. Awesome day out here. We had a greasy little solo hunt. It's a little bit tougher when I'm out here by myself. I need to go leech off John Lehman from Mindac Outdoors so he can take pictures for me and uh, hold my camera because it's a lot easier. That was an awesome hunt for me today. That is going to wrap up this goose hunting video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. We have to start harvesting sunflowers at some point, but the fields are disgusting right now and it keeps snowing and raining. So we're kind of at a halt. So I've just been doing random stuff and hunting a little bit. And I'm glad I came out here this morning to film for you guys, despite all this mud and everything that I have to clean up now. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, click that subscribe button and we'll see y'all on the next one, fools. And for all you haters out there, how low does your Cuban link chain hang? See ya!